Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modi series. The last episode we had probably one of my most amazing runs ever, as you can see, I played earlier today. I got seven planetarium items in one run. It was kind of nuts. Oh, you big bad bitch. You mother little... Ah, you bastard. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I haven't played Tinted Lost in ages and because of all the new custom rooms there's probably a lot of rooms that are either slightly unbalanced or a bit hard for this character but i promise i will try my best we have had tinted lost on the streak once before and i did win as him but oh my lord i was like i i, I had some topics raring to go i was like excited for a nice fucking chill episode where i just talked about random crap and the game's like <laughs> lol how about no although i will say infestation 2 as our first item does make me feel significantly better about a lot in life but that's not to say that i am at all safe in any way shape or form this could go so wrong so fast. So wrong, so fast. I don't know what I'll do if I end up dying uh, early on here. I guess I'll see. Um, we will try to live as long as possible. I did pretty much all of um, of Tainted Lost legit um, when, when I was doing it for Dead God. Uh, and I even got quite a few runs without abusing the D1. I think I think three of my uh, of my runs were D1 runs, but the rest of them were uh, were pretty legit. So, yeah, uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and um, see what we can do here. I am gonna check my shop for a holy card, but yeah, I was I was fully ready for the chillest of episodes here. I was like, I just had my lunch. I've just finished watching Community because um, I was on like the last few episodes. So I watched them over lunch, and I was just I was just kind of ready for a nice chilled episode, but. I guess not. I am going to try this out just because, um, yeah, I'm going to say if we can get Humbling Bundle, that'd be pretty awesome. And we got just enough to grab it. I think early on, that's a pretty good grab, even if it does mean bombing our donation machine. Um, I don't think there's any reason for us to go to rooms we don't need to go to here. Oh, my lord. This has uh, scared me. We could get pretty screwed over on whatever boss we get here. Okay, this... I would say that this is a relatively hard boss, but not the hardest we could get. Mainly just because we have rocks available to us, which is pretty huge. In fact, we might as well just sit... As, as long as we can, we might as well just sit over the rocks forever. Like, I, I, I don't think there's any way that he can hit us. As long as, we, uh, as long as we don't get too close to the edge when he fires his little corn poopies. He can be a bit tricky, this guy, but I think we should be okay. I basically just got to make sure I'm not on that corner when he shoots. Right, like that, look. And I think we're good. Okay, I'm not going to go all path because I, I I would like to live. Oh my god. I, I know for a fact, by the way, I will 100% die to a custom room. I just know it. I can just feel it. It's going to happen. We got rock good as well. Oh... Do you know what? Rock Gut's actually not a very good item for us. Like, while Rock Gut is very strong, his sucking power affects us, as you can see, and it affects enemies and enemies' projectiles, which means there's going to be, while it is very useful, there's going to be some unpredictability to this guy. Uh, oh, by the way, as well, something we need to remember. If we see reflected items, reflected things, you can pick them up for free as the loss. They don't deal damage to you. I'm almost certain of that. Right. So at the minute, we really are just looking for um, a second holy card. We're going to be entering all the shops we can in order to try and find that. Um, and just seeing what we can do here. 4.5 also a pretty good item um, that I would say we probably do want. So I'll, uh, I'll at least grab hold of as much money as I can to try and make our way to that. Yeah, do you know what? I'll open that up. Uh, Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds is actually pretty good if we get a good enough room for it. This isn't. Okay. Probably want to use it this floor, like there. There you go. Oh, we got Humbling Bundle as well. That works out quite nicely. Okay. Let's go get 4.5 Volt. Gotta remember, 4.5 Volt can be good, it can be bad, but I think with the higher damage stat of this character, it's generally pretty good. Uh, we kind of want to find a library, really, and try and get like a Book of Shadows or something along with it. That would be uh, particularly quite useful. Um, 
I don't really know if I want to do these extra rooms or not, but honestly, with um with the spiders and stuff that we have, I think we're okay. This is definitely something we want here. Pop that up, and sadly, just some red hearts. Yeah, we can't do anything with red hearts with this character, can we? Okay. Go do our boss. Uh, just basically, we've just got to be very, very aware of what Rock Gut's doing. Because Rock Gut can screw us if we're not careful. Okay, good. The teeth shot coming in clutch here as well. We'll take that. We'll check out our devil deal. Death's list is probably the best one there, but it's not that good. Um... To be fair, that as a space bar would be pretty good. I'm going to take Death's List. Death's List is not the greatest, but it's probably the most reliable form of us getting somewhere. Getting some, some benefit. And with their Humbling Bundle, it's a little bit better, I suppose. That's potentially kind of a nice idea, but I'd like to have an extra um, art before I do that. Okay, the eyes are there now. So yeah, we'll try and get Death's List going on, but you got to remember that unless we get stat upgrades, it's not going to be that useful. But you can see Rock Gut there doing his, uh, doing his best. Very nice. Definitely take care of you. So yeah, we're not going to we're not going to focus on Death's List, but we will we will make efforts to um, to appease it if we can. Okay. Basically, the tooth shots and blood clot shots are going to carry us right now. God damn, I was so, like, set up and ready for such a chill episode. I had, like, a good few topics lined up that I wanted to talk about. I'm not going to delve into them now because I know that I won't be able to focus on them. I'm just going to save them for next episode. This is going to be just a tried and true focus up sort of run. I mean, we've got a pretty, like, I, I, just, I would even go as far as to say a very, very good start here. Obviously, a lot of soul hearts, though, pretty pointless. Got a very, very good start here, um, mainly because of Rotgut and Infestation 2. But that doesn't even, it doesn't even slightly put it close to us being uh, being safe. One thing I actually don't know is with all the new modded cards, our holy card's going to be rarer. Because if that's the case, that's going to be a real pain. That's going to be a real pain. Got a lot of big rooms here. I'm going to go back and do that small room. Um, I, I basically just don't want to make any really dumb mistakes. I essentially, I probably will die. I just want my death to be one that was my fault in a way, like, in a way that isn't dumb. I don't want it to be like, oh, I walked into a spiked rock or oh, I walked directly into an enemy or some, something equally as stupid. This is a pretty, pretty horrible room for us, actually. We, we do, we do a good amount of damage, so these guys will die off pretty quick, but... Not a great room. I'm surprised that when Dumpies hit fire, they don't turn to their fire version. That'd be an interesting idea. I mean, I'm glad they don't. <laughs> but uh, I'm surprised that's not a function that was uh, added in by the developer there. Okay, good. Should be careful of these curved bullets from Rock Gut here. Um, right, pop in here. Chili Bean isn't very good, but it's an active, and actually we'll get it charged relatively often. So I think it's a decent grab. Uh, we might as well bomb this guy, actually. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how, how effective Chili Bean's gonna end up being for us here, but it might end up being quite good. We shall see. Good. Yeah, another thing about um, about Death's List as well is spiders kill whatever they want to kill. They're, they're, they're going to ignore Death's List. It's going to be pretty hard to get it on uh, enemies like that. Okay. Pretty hard boss here. Okay. We are freezing enemies a nice amount, which is good. Although frozen enemies do not produce sp um, flies. Uh, spiders, actually. Yes, they do. Wait, I, I thought they didn't, but apparently they do. Okay, we are producing a lot of frozen boys here. Good. There's perfection as well, which is annoying because in an ideal world, we'd, uh, we'd um, 
carry both perfection and the jawbreaker, but we can't do that. So we're just going to grab this and go. I will say perfection is better for us, though. Even though we do get that slight extra damage, I think perfection is going to yield a lot more, especially with humbling bundle and stuff. Getting more drops is always good. This is a very tricky room for us. We don't want the game to force our hand, which it very much is doing. Basically, we, we don't want to be in a position to trigger the uh, Ipecac grimaces if we don't have to. Okay, it's annoying that that didn't freeze you, but I suppose I can't be too annoyed. Okay, got, got to keep our eye out for uh, trapped chests as well. This is another annoying room. I mean, the creep isn't a problem, which is good, but still. Hey, we got a shot speed up there. Not the not the best reward ever, but still, it's shot speed we wouldn't have otherwise, which is nice. Yeah, it all, it all really depends on how big the room is where Rockgut spawns to how useful he is and how dangerous he is. If it spawns like right at the door when we enter a room and there's an enemy nearby, it could really screw us. But at the same time, if it spawns like underneath a boss or like in the center of a room, it's, it's going to be a pretty good get for us to, for the most part. Yeah, Humbling Bundle should pretty much carry us through with our consumable gains here. That was very close. <laughs> that was almost a huge mistake. Chili Bean, I wouldn't say it saved me, but it definitely helped. Okay. Check this out. Oh my lord. I love Tainted Lost, I have to say. I do love Tainted Lost, but he is scary as fuck. I'm going to take out this guy first. It's way more of a problem. I get that Death's List won't trigger, but... This enemy's really problematic when there's other enemies in the room. On his own, he's pretty easy. There you go. Oh, my God. Right, let's keep this trainer going. Okay, this is where fucking Rotgut is a pain. Caving the bullets there. Goddamn, so many soul hearts. Why you gotta be like this game? Okay, not a very good golden penny there. Oh my lord. I knew you were there, you bastard. I knew it. Okay, there's where caving the bullet's helpful. Don't like the position of that dumpy. Charged key. Okay, good. That worked out quite well. That worked out quite well indeed. Speed upgrade. So annoying when it manages to place the trinket directly on the fucking door. Good, good. Probably want to find that item room and shop first, which happen to both be the same direction. Oh my god. Once we make it past the 20 minute mark in the video, that's when I'm basically happy to have survived that long. We're nowhere near there yet. We still got we're still basically just just over halfway, really. We've not really made it that far into the run. But um that's when I basically think, do you know what? That was a good effort at Tainted Lost. We did good enough. Don't worry about it. Like I said, it all just banks on what um, what custom rooms end up getting. Also, what is with this floor and huge rooms? Can it chill out for a moment, please? Oh, God. Oh, God. That was actually pretty good. I think I managed to kill another one of them. Spiders there. Yes, I did. Good. Oh, golden pennies. I like them, but god damn are they annoying in large rooms when they teleport off screen. Hey, it just keeps going, god damn it. <laughs> I checked the wrong side again. And all the way to this side. Okay, there you go. Up to 51 cent here. Oh god, little bit of a tough room here. 
good, good. Sharp key's kind of good. I think we go for uh, some re-rolling here. Let's just check our item room first. Very bad. Good. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. And we'll check that out. We're getting a lot of money, so this is pretty good. Um... Not great. Not great. Okay, electric dice is very, very good. Glowing hourglass is very, very good. I don't know how it works with electric dice. Anyways, one second. I'm just going to go to the toilet because I just realized I need it terribly. Right, I'm back. I very highly doubt electric dice does anything with glowing hourglass. But glowing hourglass is an absolute must take. Like, it is so integral to our success. Uh, secret room-wise, I'm not quite sure where we're thinking here. I was going to say this room here, but that's obviously not the case. Um, could be here. Nope. Could actually be um, here. Nope. That might have been a little off, to be honest, but still, I'll pretend it's not. Um... Got plenty of bombs, so I don't mind searching around. There you go. And second secret room could easily be off of the back of this room. Wasn't expecting enemies in here, but something I've got to expect a little more now, I guess. Okay. Right, just, just remember, pop glowing our glass the very moment we take damage. If we take any hit whatsoever for whatever reason, we have to glowing our glass. Damn it. I can't fucking get this guy with a bomb, it's annoying me. Okay, this is just frustrating at this point. I'm using so many bombs. There you go. Oh, my God. Cat and Nine Tails is very good. This is a room that I desperately, desperately hate. I'm probably going to take Sin Robes just because Fear Shot can be a little dodgy. I don't want to take the risk of a uh, fear shot. It's not normally that bad, but it, it, it can cause some situations where enemies act in ways you can't expect. This is definitely a room where I could get hit, so let's uh, be very, very careful. Let's use the uh, use the wall given to us appropriately. Okay, good. Okay, I just realized we need to be very careful of that purple fire. Okay, not very good. Yeah, pep purple fires and spiked rocks, things like that are really dangerous for us. Rooms like this where it's enemies I don't truly understand are also really dangerous. Rooms like this are even more dangerous. I think I'm just going to let um, let Rock Guts <laughs> deal with that. I don't know if that deals damage to me, so I'm not going to fuck with it. Again, another chest that I don't want to fuck with. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This room just fucking broke my brain for a second there. Fucking get out of the way, you stupid troll bomb. Oh my god. That room absolutely broke my brain. Oh god, I did. I thought these... I didn't realise what enemies these were for a second. These fart clouds can be dangerous. Oh my god. I love this character so much. The absolute stress this character causes... Yeah, you do die to a lot of BS, and there's a lot of deaths incurred, especially when you're going for the unlocks. But this is a truly fun character. He's well-designed. I love the holy card mechanic. 
I, it would be nice if it was a little more reliable. Okay, I, I don't like this at all. I don't really understand what I'm meant to be doing, and I'm confused at all times. Forever. Like, where the fuck's the enemy I'm meant to be killing? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Honestly, key beggars are maybe the shout. We've got so many keys right now. That's a mega chest. Dr. Fetus is such a jank item, but I think it's just enough damage to have to take it. Okay, this guy's like near impossible to play now because he's like stuck inside this thing. Okay. Okay, he's gone now. Okay. We'll, we'll at least keep this for, so we don't use as many keys though. I'm only going to go down to like six keys. This guy's taking a lot. This guy's hungry. Wow. Fuck you, I guess. Hungry bitch. Got a crawl space out of that Ipecac glitch. Is that a black market? Okay, it is. I thought it was going to be an error room for a second there. Yara, nice. Tears up proportional to how many broken hearts you have. Obviously doesn't matter. Sinister chalk is fine. That's just spiders. Forgot for a minute that I had um, Dr. Fetus there. Don't need to open the other one because I know it's going to be a troll bomb. Okay. I think J... I got hurt to a fly. Did you see that? I got hurt to a hecking fly. You need to go. Right. Do that again, just just to get these items. I don't know how either of these will impact the run as a, as a whole, but I'm going to take them both. Right. I'm going to play this dude with my bombs because I don't need my bombs. And if I get a bomb upgrade out of this, I mean, I've already got all the money. Wow. He took all my bombs very quickly. But I was hoping I could get um, a bomb upgrade, but I guess not. I, I mean, if we get more bombs, I'll keep playing that dude, I guess. Hello, crawl space, my old friend. Lots of money. We've not been to our shop yet this far either. So we do have to be very, very careful with the fact that we're now firing bombs. Because we could super, super, super duper, super easily um, hurt ourselves. Burn spares is fine by me. But that's kind of where the, the glowing hourglass comes into play, at least in my eyes. If we hurt ourselves with it, we pop glowing hourglass. But yeah, the, the, the dumb way I got hit in that room is the sort of dumb deaths I want to avoid. I quite like burn spares. I think burn spares is pretty good. a hell of a lot of items. I think we definitely take this. We've proved how good that could be on the last run. And we take this for a chance at a holy card. We got one. Okay. Right. What we get here? We got foiled temperance. We got foiled death. And we got spawns 1 to 12 random bombs. It literally spawned one. Fuck's sake. Right, we at least have a spare holy card now. We at least have that. But my god. Get 
slightly hard room here. Our shot speed is kind of screwing us a little bit. We do have quite a lot of shot speed. Which is good in ways and bad in ways. It just means our bombs travel a little bit further than intended sometimes. Random locust every room. That's dangerous, but I like the idea behind it. Sadly, we can't hold two trinkets, so it's a little out of our league. I was really hoping we'd get more bombs this floor, especially out of that queen of bombs. That was horrible. We got one out of a possible 12. Like, that could have that could have got us a, a nifty little bomb upgrade. Which I know that um, it doesn't have a 100% chance to trigger with their thingy, but the thing is, it does scale on luck. Which means that having um, 10 luck makes it pretty good. Shoop the Whoop is also pretty fantastic, but it's nowhere near as good as the Glowing Hourglass. Glowing Hourglass right now cannot be beaten. Yeah, Humbling Bundle plus Mum's Key is such a god tier combo for a consumable game. This is a really bad room for us. We luckily just absolutely demolished it, but... Oh god, I haven't been this stressed in a while. In Isaac, really. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not an item I care about. <laughs> thanks for the offer, but no thanks. That was incredibly close. I just forgot as well that Rock Gut's going to kind of fuck up our bomb placements a little bit sometimes. It's going to be rare, but if he's in the right position, he can like curve our bombs a little bit. Oh my god, there's a lot of these rooms that are really stressing me out. <laughs> nope. We're getting some real trashy rooms and uh, items, unfortunately, but that's what we got to deal with. This is a horrible room for us, too. Okay, we got it. Okay. That room, I think we did finish. Nope, we did not. We managed to get a holy card out of that, though. We now have a spare, which is good, but we can't hold it. So, drop that in the corner there for a minute. The fuck? Okay. I was, for a minute there, I was really like, who the fuck would ever do this? This is terrible. Uh, tarot cloth's very good. Six cent for the potential of more money is uh, is a pretty good prospect, I'd say. There you go. And let's keep a reroll in here. Jumper cables is oh for fuck's sake! I walk into the ladder. Jumper cables is exceptionally good for us as well. Just more chances to charge up. For some reason, I just want all these spike rocks gone. I'm going to reroll a little more just to see. Mm. <laughs> That's expensive. That's expensive. Quite. But I would like it. <laughs> I, d I very highly doubt there's any way in which we get that much money in the remainder of this floor. But you never know. Got to take every opportunity we can to try and get money now. I'm not taking a glitch card. That could hurt us, potentially. Rare chance, but it could. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I don't have a charge ready. I realise I have a spare holy card, by the way. I just, I don't want to have to use it if I don't have to. You know what I mean? Mm, the potential. It's there. And I, I, by the way, I definitely would take Mega Mush. I know that Glowing Hourglass is incredible, but Mega Mush is 
both extremely fun and actually very good with jumper cables. I doubt we'll be able to afford it, though. We've still got to get another, like, 34 cents or something, which is a lot in one floor. We need a few more chests like that last one, though. Oh, it's... It's coming to fruition. That didn't give us any money. Heck. Right. This is Depths 2, so we can't do the boss yet, unfortunately. Right, so... Destroy skulls for potential cards that could give us money. Try and find secret room desperately. There's one of them. This could be enemies. Get ready. This will be enemies. Oh my god. Who would do this? Who would do such a thing? <laughs> I'm liking some of these evil secret rooms. They're a little, a little too common, but like only a little. Okay. Trying to suss out anything else we can do to earn a bit of extra dirt. That is indeed... I just shot a rock gut for some reason. That is indeed Echo Chamber, which is pretty good. <laughs> I'd say. That's a crawl space too. Have we been to a crawl space on this floor yet? No, we haven't. Ooh, this could be it. Ah, oh, come on, money. Ugh, we got so close. There's got to be opportunity on this floor for, for like, a little bit more money, right? There's got to be. Nope, instead you give me a soul heart. Ugh. This is such a shame. This is such a shame. Probably could have used that full card to go into my cash room, to be honest. We got very close. I'll say that. We got very close. We are just a, just a hair off. Seventy-eight cent. Right. Um. I just. How does this work? Teleports you to the starter room, rerolls all rooms previously visited, rerolls the following. Ah, so we probably would be able to get it, but it'd just reroll the item anyways. Okay, we've got to give up on our pipe dream and just start rerolling. I'm sorry, Mush. Fire it up is good. That's really good. Um. Not very good. But neither of those are worth buying. Oh, that was... That was poten There was potential there. It could have happened. I realised the glitch card could have helped us, but it can hurt you in certain circumstances, so I just didn't want to try it. There, there's, there's probably a way in which we could have got the money. I'm sure there is, but... I'm sure someone out there will be smart enough to figure it out, but that person was not me. Now, we do have a significant issue in the fact of... Um, yep. I was just about to say, we are now fighting Mum with Dr. Fetus, which is not easy. <laughs> Mega Mush, if only we'd have got Mega Mush. If only we'd have got Mega Mush, we'd have had that win so easily. Would have had it in the bag. That was a good effort, though. Sadly, we didn't get to use Echo Chamber at all. And I realized I was holding a holy card when I died then. Essentially, what happened there is fired a bomb. One of them hit me. I fired a second bomb. Mum's foot slammed, pushed it into me without me seeing it, and killed me. Mum's foot is incredibly difficult to no-hit with Dr. Fetus. It's just a fact of life. We knew we were going to die. 
It's a shame it happened as early as it did. But made it to 34 minutes. I'm pretty happy with that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless. And I'll see you guys in the next one.